For centuries, it was believed that the story of the Americas began in 1492, with the arrival of Columbus. But buried deep beneath layers of time, in the frozen silence of ancient burial sites, and the forgotten whispers of ancient bones, another story was waiting. A story far older, far stranger, and far more revealing than anyone dared to imagine. In recent years, a team of geneticists made a discovery so unexpected it sent shockwaves through the academic world. Hidden in strands of ancient DNA, they found markers that didn't match any known group from Europe or Asia. Instead, these genetic signatures pointed to a migration so early and so mysterious that it shattered everything we thought we knew about the first Americans. Who were these people? Where did they really come from? And how did their DNA end up thousands of miles away from any known civilization, long before Columbus ever set sail? This is the forgotten origin story of Native Americans, as revealed by science, bone by bone, gene by gene. For decades, the prevailing theory held that the first humans to inhabit the Americas crossed a land bridge from Siberia to Alaska some 13,000 years ago, following herds of mammoths through the Bering Strait during the last Ice Age. This migration theory, known as Clovis I, became the foundation of American prehistory. Textbooks, museums, and documentaries all echoed the same narrative. That Native American ancestry could be traced back to a single migratory wave from Northeast Asia. But cracks in this theory began to appear. Archaeological sites, like Monte Verde in Chile and Buttermilk Creek in Texas, revealed human presence thousands of years before Clovis culture existed. Tools, remains, and even footprints began to challenge the timeline, but these were just clues, pieces of a puzzle. The real breakthrough came not from stone or bone, but from DNA. And when scientists sequenced the genome of ancient native remains, some over 10,000 years old, they uncovered a genetic mosaic that didn't fit the old model. The DNA told a different story, a deeper one, one that hinted at multiple migrations, isolated populations, and even genetic links to unexpected regions like Australasia. Suddenly, the simple tale of a single migration collapsed replaced by a mystery stretching back tens of thousands of years. Who were these ancient people? And how many chapters of American history have we truly forgotten? The turning point came in 2013 on the windswept plains of Montana. There, nestled near the banks of the Anzic site, archaeologists uncovered the remains of a child, only one year old buried with over a hundred stone tools carefully arranged around the tiny body. The grave, untouched for over 12,600 years, belonged to what would later be called the Anzic One individual, the oldest complete human genome ever found in the Americas. It was a haunting discovery, both beautiful and chilling. The tools were unmistakably Clovis in design. Yet the child's DNA revealed something far more complex. As scientists extracted and sequenced the genome, they found not just the expected links to Siberian ancestors, but also surprising genetic markers suggesting a deep divergence from known populations. Evidence of an ancient lineage, isolated and enigmatic. This was no ordinary burial. It was a genetic time capsule, one that would connect distant peoples shatter long-standing assumptions, and force researchers to ask if this child's ancestors came from Asia, why does the DNA also echo voices from places thousands of miles away? The mystery was only beginning, and now the hunt for answers would lead deeper into the genetic shadows of prehistory. With the Anzic One genome in hand, the scientific community mobilized. Leading the charge were geneticists from Harvard, Copenhagen, and various Native American institutions working together to map ancient lineages across the Americas. 
Using next-generation sequencing, they began analyzing DNA from ancient skeletons found not only in North America, but also in Central and South America. From the Lagoa Santa Caves of Brazil to the windswept cliffs of Alaska, samples were extracted with surgical precision, each revealing a fragment of an ancient narrative lost to time. But it wasn't just the technical difficulty of recovering viable DNA from millennia-old bones that challenged them. It was the ethical storm. Indigenous communities demanded a voice in the research, reminding scientists that these weren't just samples. They were ancestors. Respectful collaboration became critical, and with their blessing, the findings deepened. Patterns emerged. Clusters of genes linking tribes thousands of miles apart. And even stranger, genetic hints pointing to populations outside of the expected Siberian migration route. Some of the oldest remains in Brazil showed surprising similarities to modern-day Australian aboriginals and Melanesians. How could this be? Had there been an earlier migration wave that no one knew about? A forgotten journey across oceans or ice long before the land bridge theory ever took hold? The investigation was now global, and the results were about to challenge the very roots of human migration theories. The breakthrough came when researchers sequenced the genome of another ancient individual, this time from the banks of the Amazon. The remains, known as Lucia Woman, were initially believed to be purely Native American, but her facial structure and, more crucially, her mitochondrial DNA told a radically different story. The analysis revealed markers most commonly found in indigenous Australian and Melanesian populations, anomalies that couldn't be explained by the Bering Strait theory alone. At first, the scientific world hesitated. Could these results be contamination? A lab error? But then came further confirmation from other sites across South America and even California, showing the same Australasian genetic signals in other ancient skeletons. This genetic signature, dubbed the Y population, seemed to represent a ghost population, an early branch of humans who somehow reached the Americas long before the Clovis migration. Using statistical modeling and ancient DNA comparison, scientists determined that this population diverged from the common East Asian ancestors over 30,000 years ago. The implication? A wave of migration far older and potentially arriving by boat or coastal route rather than the ice bridge. It was a discovery that upended timelines and rewrote the story of human expansion. Native American ancestry, it turned out, wasn't a single thread. It was a woven fabric of multiple journeys, lost peoples, and forgotten genes. The past had spoken, through blood, through bone, and through strands of ancient code. Imagine a world over 30,000 years ago. Massive ice sheets still grip much of the northern hemisphere. Sea levels are hundreds of feet lower, revealing vast coastal plains and land bridges. On the edges of Southeast Asia, small seafaring groups, hunter-gatherers with primitive boats and sharp instincts, begin to push outward. Whether driven by survival, curiosity, or catastrophe, they embark on a journey no human had ever attempted. Skimming along ancient shorelines, island-hopping through what we now call Indonesia and Oceania, they eventually reach the unexplored edges of the Pacific. Some may have settled in Australia and Melanesia, while others, in a voyage lost to history, crossed into the Americas, possibly along the Pacific coast, using kelp forests as a marine highway. These were not mass migrations, but waves of quiet exploration. Families, tribes, and outcasts carrying their stories in their blood. When they arrived, they found a wild, untouched world. Towering redwoods, vast plains, and megafauna roaming freely. They settled. They thrived. And over millennia, they merged with newer populations arriving from Siberia. Their genes faded into the background, hidden but not lost. 
The arrival of the Clovis people didn't erase them. It layered over them. Their legacy would lie dormant for thousands of years until unearthed by the cold precision of modern science. Now we can finally glimpse the forgotten odyssey that seeded the first chapters of American history. The story of the first Americans is no longer a straight line. It's a vast, tangled web of migrations, mysteries, and rediscoveries. Thanks to ancient DNA, we now know that the people who walked these lands before Columbus, long before recorded history, were not a single group, but many. Their origins trace not only to Siberia, but to far older roots in forgotten corners of the world. They were explorers, survivors, and storytellers whose bloodlines stretch across oceans and epochs. Their voices, long silenced by time, now echo through the language of genetics, challenging everything we thought we knew. This isn't just a scientific revelation. It's a reshaping of identity, of belonging, of history itself. What other secrets lie buried beneath our feet, waiting for science to uncover? How many chapters of human history have yet to be rewritten? The answers are still unfolding, strand by strand, discovery by discovery. One thing is certain, the past is not finished speaking, and neither are we. If this journey through ancient origins fascinated you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more deep dives into humanity's forgotten past, and explore our other stories that rewrite history through the lens of science. The truth is stranger and more beautiful than we ever imagined.